Hey everyone, it's Zach, and today I wanted to talk about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I want to tell you that in my quick review opinion, if you already own this game on the Wii U, it's still worth the pickup for the Nintendo Switch. Most of the main race content has stayed the same, but with the addition of a real battle mode with five different game types, it's well worth the upgrade. Not to mention you get all the DLC you may have missed on the Wii U version, and having a full-fledged Mario Kart game portable on the Switch is amazing. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you today about how you play Mario Kart. And no, I'm not explaining the basics to you. I want to know how you choose to play. With the Switch version of Mario Kart 8, you get two new features. Smart Steering, which makes it less likely for you to go off course. And Auto Accelerate, which makes sure you, your cart keeps moving even if you aren't hitting the acceleration button. I believe that these, these two features are not for the experienced Mario Kart racer, but for the newcomer. Since this is the Switch and Nintendo wants to hit a bigger market, you might be playing with someone who isn't used to or just hasn't played a video game in a while. To ensure your noob little sibling is still having fun while you drift your way into first place. I turned on smart steering for my girlfriend for her first play on the Switch, and I believe this made her experience more enjoyable. And that's what it's all about. But we've talked about the two new features. Let's talk about the two ways you can play. There's the old fashioned joystick steering, which older players, as well as I myself, prefer. Then there's the tilt control, which became popular during the Wii era when motion control was the main way to play. There's even a big market for first party and third party wheel accessories because of this control scheme. But which do you prefer? Let me know down in the comments below which play style you prefer. And if you use the tilt control, let me know how needed are those wheel accessories? Be or is it just aesthetics? Because I feel like you playing in that style just kind of makes my arms tired, holding it up like a wheel. When it comes to controls, I prefer a single Joy-Con, but I do recommend some form of grip for extended play sessions. The one I have on my Joy-Con right now is the one I got from the Switch Starter Kit because it gives you an extra grip on the bottom, which when playing horizontally, gives you a more uniform feel with the trigger on the opposite side. When I go play Mario Kart on the go, my main preference is to play it in tabletop mode because when I play in handheld, I can't seem to find a comfortable distance to hold the switch for my eyes. I didn't have this problem while playing Legend of Zelda. But anyways, tell me what you think about Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Switch. Let me know below. And don't forget about commenting and letting me know how you prefer to play Mario Kart. Do you use the tilt or the classic steering? When you do play, do you use one Joy-Con or both? Or do you only play with the, contr with the Pro Controller? No matter what your play style is, I want to hear about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.